So hello, this is Elizabeth from BB's Butterfly, and today is uh, Waste Not Wednesday, and this is a fairly new um, process for me, as I am just starting with YouTube videos, but I've seen lots of different crafts out there, and um, so I wanted to do some tutorials. And today we're going to be playing with, you guessed it, toilet paper rolls. Um, I saw a video on how to do a toilet paper roll mini album, and so today I'm going to be doing kind of like my own little take on um, making these look like leather. And I've taken a couple of different um, processes, but basically when you're done, it looks like this. Um, I've used some old processes and modified them and... Um, so I want to make my pages look kind of like this. That one the got a little messy, but that's okay because I'm going to cover it up. But um, as we know, toilet paper rolls are fairly cheap um, recycled paper, and so they don't hold up real well. They're not really supposed to be used for anything other than holding your toilet paper. So today, we're going to make trash into treasure. So what you're going to need are some, obviously, toilet paper rolls. Or um, you could use paper towel rolls, just cut them up so that they're smaller. Um, what I did is I took mine and I ran it through my cuddle bug so that it's fairly flat. Um, looks like that. So when I make my pages, this end will go into the hidden hinge and this end will be your pocket. Like that. So really simple. <clears throat> what you're going to need is some um, Eileen's Tacky Glue and um, something to start a fire with. We're not really going to set it on fire, but we are going to burn it, so make sure you are in a well-ventilated area and um, don't burn yourself. So, really what I do oh, is I just take the lid off and I squirt a bunch and I apologize, my my little Cindy Lou is walking around and clicking her paws on the floor. So, um, And I like to store my tacky glue upside down so that it's fairly easy to get out. And this is just a blue dot roll. Fits really well. Works for me. Um, anyway, take your glue and just kind of use your finger and smear it all over the place. This was, um, geez, a technique that was discovered way back. Um, so I am reviving it because it makes your project look like metal or leather or something else. So I'm just going to use that. Excuse me just a moment. I'll edit this part out. Got to go let the dog out. She's ringing. All right. I'm back. So sorry. Um, anyway, this was, I don't even know, I think it was a technique that was discovered by accident. Somebody accidentally set their um, glue too close to a flame or something um, and discovered something awesome out of it. Oh, got some on my table. That's all right. That's what a craft mat's for. I do lots of crafts. I quilt. I uh, crochet, knit, you name it. So I have junk everywhere. <clears throat> but then don't we all? So anyway, you just smear your glue everywhere. Everywhere. All right. And then I take a baby wipe and I clean the fingers off. Take your fire starting implement and you set it on fire. Not really. Really what you're looking for is for the um, glue to turn black and to bubble up. <clears throat> and you'll hear some sizzling and cracking and that is perfectly fine. And I apologize for the angle. Um, helps if I get it in frame. But basically you're just burning it. Be careful when you do this because um, the 
paper gets very hot and <clears throat> you can burn your fingers so you, you might want to stop every once in a while um, and blow through the tube to cool it off but what you're looking for is something like this to happen you get a big bubble of glue and then it goes down and it makes a really cool like leather fired metal pet <clears throat> fired metal pattern and <clears throat> excuse me my voice is going to go out on me so I apologize and you're just gonna burn and bubble oh there's another really good one see that it's kind of awesome it's getting hot and this little thing is really hard to light so you can see I'm just burning and making bubbles. Again, it's, it gets hot in there. And what you want is for the whole thing to turn black. <clears throat> and you're just creating a crust on the top of the glue. Um, uh oh, low flame. I guess I should have bought another one. It was just at the store. There we go. And if it gets too hot on one side, you can always turn it over. And move your fingers. But you really want it to bubble. So you kind of have to hold the flame. I don't know, you guys can't see that, but... So I'm just turning it black. Turn it around here. I should do this on the other side of the table so you guys can see. You kind of have to hold it um, upside down. Otherwise it doesn't really work. I'm getting some really good bubbles. And the more bubbles you get, the better the pattern uh, the more interesting it will become. And when it all gets a skin on it, that's when the fun begins. Although I'm kind of a firebug, so I kind of like to watch the action. Put some more bubbles. So you can see it's starting to really look like metal or leather or whatever. I've seen people do this with, oh, hot, with um, tin foil. You create a shape out of, um, you know, kitchen foil, whatever, Reynolds wrap, and shape it into something and then cover it in glue. And um, then burn the glue. And it creates some pretty awesome shapes. And when you get to a place with it, you're kind of satisfied with it, you can also take a napkin. Yeah, fancy napkin. And you can just squish the stuff and make some patterns. Just be really careful that you don't break the skin on top because you want it to dry so that you have this neat pattern in it. And you can squish and a lot of people say you want the whole thing to turn black, but you know, with me, it doesn't really matter. I don't care. Um, I'm not a super perfectionist, but I, I do like to make cool fun stuff. And this for me is cool and fun. So, um, sorry again, you can't see. Wish I were left handed. I guess I could use my other hand, but then I'd probably burn myself. And we don't want that. Let me try it, just so you can see what I'm doing. So you get these really awesome patterns in there. So 
looks like that. It's pretty cool. I think my flamethrower just. is too hard for me to use. So you can also use a lighter. It does the same thing. It's just, you know, after a while the lighter gets too hot. And you can't hold it anymore. And yes, it smokes and sizzles and burns. Just be careful that you don't actually set the um, cardboard on fire because that would not be cool. It's probably wise to have, you know, water or something handy, which I don't. That to me looks pretty awesome. And again, when you get finished with it, you're just going to let it cool. Uh, I did this earlier as a test, and um, I actually did set the uh, cardboard on fire. My whole house smelled like burning wood. It's kind of funny. My husband thought, he was, what are you burning in there? Right now he's playing Candy Crush, so he's preoccupied. And there we go. It's got a good bubble on that one. Like I said, when you're doing this and you get the skin on top, even though it's not completely black, that's okay because it'll it'll dry eventually. Um, you can also kind of put holes in it or whatever to let the let air into the glue. It's actually not a tripod because I don't have one yet, so it's a little makeshift. Um setup I got going. Basically it involves a um, a scrapbook and a cricket. It's kind of funny. Maybe I'll show it to you. Or not. Um, you make do with what you got, right? And I don't have a tripod because I'm not awesome like that. Actually I, have, I do have several tripods um, for my telescopes, but eh, I didn't think about setting one up. It's fine. Alright, so when you're done, it looks really awesome like that, and you want to do wipe off most of the soot um, off of it, or you can leave it, you can um, clear coat it, but basically what happens is this starts, it feels like, um, kind of feels like leather, if you can hear that, it looks like leather, but it also strengthens um, the whole thing because it is covered in glue. Um, you can even paint this. Let me grab. Um, let me grab some paint. So, let me use some paint here. Let's see what that looks like. Let me add some green to it. I haven't tried with um, any of the inks, but I guess you could do that too. And something else I wanted to try was to stamp on it. Um, just know that whenever you do this, you lose kind of the shimmer out of it. See the other side? Oh, I did set it in paint or glue or something. That's fine. You can wipe it off with a baby wipe. It's all good. Um, and if you don't like it, then yeah. You can kind of wipe it down and tone it down. And now it looks like weathered leather. Kind of cool like that. Something else I wanted to try um, was to stamp on it. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I just happen to have some junk here. So I'm going to turn this into a... Um, steampunk um, mini album so and yes I'm kind of funny with my toys here I just inked up my stamp and let's see what that looks like oh very nice so you can add stuff to it and make it look stained. Um, I don't really like this particular ink. It's made by Colorbox 
and it's a mixed media inks, but it doesn't dry very well. Even if you um, heat set it, it still kind of makes a mess. Ooh, I kind of like that look. That looks pretty awesome. I just like to play around, see what happens. It's all good. Kind of took some of the soot look off of it, but that's okay. I'm going to play around with it. Um, anyway, so again, I just took a regular toilet paper roll and I squished it in my cuddle bug to make it flat because um, you don't want it obviously round like this. Um, covered it in Eileen's original tacky glue, pretty thick. Um, you don't want to really see the cardboard underneath it. Um, and then you just light it up, put some fire to it uh, until it bubbles and turns black and it looks pretty awesome. Awesome like that. And then you just let it sit and dry because if you can tell it's still wet because it's kind of opaque. Um, it's good. You can see the white in it. But if you let it sit overnight, it'll dry. Um, this one I didn't let sit overnight so it still feels a little bit tacky but um, it was a little more black than this one. Um, instead of not it's not quite got all the white in it um, but if you let it sit and dry long enough eh, an hour or two I did this first one um, and then I ran to <laughs> Dollar Tree because I love Dollar Tree um, to get some crafting supplies because I'm making my own um, alcohol inks and so I needed some markers and alcohol and you can check out all kinds of people that do that um, anyway so there is a pocket page and I'll post another video uh, whenever I get the project done um, and kind of take you through some of the steps. I'll, I'll video along the way or at least take pictures and talk about the steps that I used. But yeah, so toilet paper mini album. Yay. Thanks. Bye.